sell some money here. We got $2,600, $2,800, and go back in, and boom, we have $2,800. My name is Rishraf, and today we're going to be getting into the data store system via leader stats. So this is going to be a really cool video. It's a highly requested video. So I'm just going to get right into the code, and then I'll talk my normal talk when I am coding, and you know. So um, I think, yeah, so this script is going to be definitely less than 30 lines, depending on how you guys customize it. So how it works is you guys are going to save the data and then load the data. So uh, we'll go and start off by saying local players equals game. We're going to say get service and we'll go ahead and get the players service. I'm sorry if you can hear any background noise. And then we'll go and say local data store. Ooh, data store. Lower camel case has been enabled. And we'll say get service. So this is something called the data store service. Now, I'm not one of those YouTubers who's gonna be like, oh, you have to, this, this about the data store service. No, I just show you how to use it. Okay, so here's how it's gonna work. We're gonna say DS for data store and we'll say DS1, okay? Remember, you can have number numbers after the variable name, after the first numeric, or I'm sorry, uh, alphanumeric. Um, forget how that word is, but whatever. Um, after the variable name. So you can have a data store. Make sure you guys have that. If it doesn't autocomplete, you didn't type the first variable, right? I'll say get data store. Get data store is automatically a built in Roblox function. Now, this is what your data store name is going to be for per value. So when you save data in any game, it has to have a certain um, name, right? So I'm going to go ahead and call this the money save right i recommend putting it at something different and then we'll do this one at ds2 uh, for data store 2 equals data store get data so this is going to be a multi leaderboard and you guys can have uh, a couple values on your leaderboard and i'll show you exactly what i mean by that so we're going to get the data store um, we'll say xp save okay not excuse me not the most efficient way of naming stuff but we'll say players dot player added now you don't need to make a separate a separate leaderboard script this is your ultimate saving and making leaderboard and you'll say local folder equals the you know the usual the, the usual leaderboard we'll say create a new folder and then we're gonna go ahead and call that folder um, We'll say that's leader stats. Make sure this that's not a capital L. I want to say folder parent equals player. Sorry, this is player. You could do PLR, but uh, I, it, I'm just inconsistent with that. I hate to admit it. Say local. Uh, we'll say cash. Um, I don't like to use the same variable name, but we'll do it. Say lowercase money equals instance dot new int value. And then we'll say currency, or not currency, money. Sorry, I was uh, dealing with some other sort of uh, coding earlier, which I was using the word currency in the code. And then we'll say money.parent equals player. Make sure it's player, not um, not players, because it, it auto-completed as players first. And then, so this is where you're going to do right here. It's going to say money. So what we're going to do is we say money.value equals DS1. So this corresponds. So I want this DS1. I want money save to be the key store. I'm going to call them the key stores, data stores, whatever, for my database, for my data save, uh, you could say. So what I mean by that is we'll set the value. Make sure it's dot value. It can't be just money money.value equals ds1 or whatever you know but i'm using ds1 get a sync okay parentheses and then it will say player dot user id so that's a capital u and a capital i or zero 
So if we have a data store, so how Roblox keep their data stores is that each player has a, a unique ID. And when you get this unique ID, well, our game custom uh, keeps a custom record of the ID. So we'll say the players uh, custom ID. If they have a data store, okay, nice. It, it, then it's their money. Or if not, it's basically just saying if not, we'll do leave their money at zero. And then we'll do DS1 just to clean up. We'll say DS1 set a sync player dot user ID. Make sure you guys get the spelling right. And then we'll say money dot value. Okay. And then what we'll do is we'll drop down, we'll skip two lines, three lines maybe. We'll say money dot changed built in function. If that does not autocomplete, you did something wrong. And we'll say connect function. And in doing so, uh, we're not going to add any parameters. That should auto end. We'll say DS1 set a sync player dot user id remember it's set a sync not get and then make sure you have the user id uh capitalization uh, correct and then we'll basically just do what we did up here uh, but this is this is a great way let me show you and we'll say money dot value this is great right here anytime our currency changes in, instead of doing while true do update currency anytime we have a currency change let's go and send it to the data store go ahead we can uh, go ahead and send it to the data store so if I have 10 bucks and I lose a dollar boom as soon as I lose that dollar Roblox detects that it's changed and then we can go ahead and set that so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna change it via server oh very important guys before I even do anything what you have to do is you have to go to home at the top, click game settings. You have to publish to access game settings. Definitely recommend publishing. That's the only way the data store system actually works. I'm going to go ahead and call this um, leader stats data store. Uh, this game will be uncopy locked for you guys. Thank you so much for watching my videos lately, guys. Just wanted to point that out. Uh, I'm going to go and insert a part real quick. I'm just going to insert a little baby script right here. Uh, baby script. So uh, that's that's new. I don't know why I called it that. Uh, so we'll just say real quick, uh, PLRs equals game get service. Um, actually, it's funny. You can go to my previous videos, and I think it's my one of my previous videos and it's how to give your player money this is like a quick uh, way right here that I'm doing you guys can just if you guys are on mobile or whatever or the the laptop or whatever the desktop yeah, feel free to just skip a little bit of um, time I'd say give me like I'd say probably 45 seconds I do apologize for the computer fans I do that in every video oh by the way by the way by the way uh, I use parentheses in the if statements. You don't have to. I do. Uh, I Because I code C-sharp Unity. And you have to. So if you guys ever see that, um, like especially when I'm speed coding like this, um, if you ever see this with the double parentheses, it's useless, but it's just a habit for me. So I just wanted to point that out. I'll say hit.parent. And then basically whenever we, we'll say plr.leaderstats.money, Dot value equals and then we're just gonna go ahead and copy this because I'll we'll say plus and then we'll go ahead and give them let's give them a hundred hundred bucks a hundred monies okay that's that's grammatically correct you guys can name the data store whatever you want I'm actually going to do that so you can see um, we'll just name a data store sounds good and let's go and check this out real quick so I'm gonna go ahead and actually before I go check it out uh, I forgot I need to go to the options. This is very important. I turn on HTTP requests uh, just because, you know, why not? And then enable studio access to API services such as data stores. This is exactly what we need. We're going to save that. I'm going to go and publish this place just in case. I'm going to go and like republish it again. And uh, once we join back in, 
You'll notice. And so we'll go ahead and give ourselves some money. We got 1900 bucks. We're going to press stop. Okay, so when you press stop, uh, it's basically just going to... Uh, you can maybe check your output. I do apologize for any computer fans in the background. I've checked your output. And then we'll go ahead and press play. And it should load our data. Yep, $1,900, 1900 monies. Now, um, I did have to like stop the video a little bit uh, because earlier, which is cut out, but I did receive a HTTP 403 forbidden error uh, with data stores, API services, whatever. Uh, to clean that up, all you have to do is go to the game settings, disable API services, and then save that, and then enable it back on again. And that should work. Now to add the second part, to it, uh, it works the exact same. So we'll go ahead and have our, um, we'll go ahead and have local, uh, we'll say local XP equals instance dot new. It's basically just to add a second one. So if you want money and you want XP, or this doesn't have to be XP, I'm just using it. So we'll say um, XP dot name equals XP. And then we'll say something like XP Dot parent you can it's literally just a carbon copy of lines 11 through 15 equals player dot leader stats uh, yep that should look right with the spelling and we'll say XP dot value equals so this is very important you don't use DS1 don't use money save because then you're just getting the money save for your XP and then it's just stupid so what you're gonna have to do is do I would do DS2, whatever you set it to. So um, DS2, you know, you know what I mean. This has to match basically, and then do get a sync, and then I'll add the little parameter parenthesis right here, and then we shall do player dot user ID, and uh, as previously mentioned, it gets its uh, unique ID, and then after we get that we'll say ds2 set a sync player dot user id and then we'll say xp dot value okay and then at the bottom you guys cannot forget this we have to make a new uh, little mini function uh, i don't know what's up with me and mini stuff lately um <laughs> but like in terms of code not anything else um so uh, we'll say ds2 say set oops set a sync say player dot user id do apologize for computer fans in the middle of the code writing and then we'll go ahead and say xp dot value and then make sure you guys don't forget to add the or zero or it's going to error you can always count on roblox studio crashing as usual i mean what's new so we have the two data saves right here in the leader stats. So we have the two end values. I'll show you what I mean. So now we have money. Notice how it's still loaded in money, even though we adjusted the uh, little thing, because it's that unique data store. So we have XP. So I'm going to go ahead and give myself some money here. We got $2,600, $2,800. When we get in that moolah, press stop. And once we stop, then we're going to go ahead and press play. And once we press play, We'll go ahead and go back in, and boom, we have $2,800. This is the official way on how to give your player, not give player, but save their data. This is like the the official Roblox way of doing it. There's many other ways, but this is the, the way you're supposed to do it. This is built in Roblox. And if I change this to XP, if I change this to update my XP, the X XP and money would still save. It, all the leader stats does save. So... I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day or night or whatever. Uh, check out some other videos on the channel. I'll be posting the playlist at the end of the video. And thank you guys so much for watching and peace. Uh -huh.